so it's that time of year again where we're spending more time with our families and it's a time of year that's pretty charged. So I did a virtual workshop on healing family relationships. It's a pretty deep workshop, so it's one that you'll be able to work with over and over and over again because these relationships have a lot of depth to them and they carry a lot. So you are welcome to join Dig Deeper to get access to this workshop. That's where it lives. That's the only way you get access to it. Dig Deeper is my healing hub. When you sign up to get access to healing family relationships, you are also getting access to all of the other nine workshops that I have living in there. It's a month to month program and you can unsubscribe at any time. Here's a little sneak peek of something I share in the workshop. So I want to be real that this isn't about a squeaky clean happily ever after. As you know, you start to really dig into this stuff. It's about seeing the truth and the truth is real. It's messy. It's facing the stuff that we don't want to see. And that means oftentimes letting the idea of somebody die. And for a lot of us, we have this, you know, dream of having, um, you know, a relationship with whatever person you're, you're thinking about in this workshop. We have this dream that this person is going to be this certain thing for us. And when we stop asking that person to be for us what they can't, and we give that to ourselves instead, we then no longer really need it from them. And this is part of honoring that process of like, you might feel like you need to have that thing until you don't anymore. This is the process of loving yourself. Every time you feel like you need somebody to love you a certain way, you know, we feel like we need our parents. Um, we needed them to love us a very specific way and they loved us in whatever way they felt that they could. And so then really reckoning with that, you know, thing that we needed and mourning that we didn't get that thing that we needed. And there is grief that comes with that. It's not about dismissing that. It's not about invalidating that. It's about really honoring that need that wasn't met and mourning it and mourning it for as long as you need to until you can let it go. And then when you let it go, something changes. The way that you feel about yourself changes. The way that your relationship with that person is might change. It might not. You know, this is part of your journey. So if you're interested in joining, you can click the link in my profile and you'll get immediate access to healing family relationships.